Hey guys, welcome back to Human No Resource. So there is this new reality television series called Young, Famous and African on Netflix. The series looks into the lives of nine African celebrities in South Africa. Now, honestly, at the beginning, I wasn't trying to get involved in it, but you, Uma, put me on this series. And I'll tell you this, it took me one day to wipe all of the episodes clear and I was hooked. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the nine main characters that were running around this whole series. And I, pro I will try our best not to give any spoilers alert, but we're definitely gonna give you one or two things about their personalities and real inputs. Now, the first person we're gonna talk about is Kenny Bell. Now, she was born in 1985 in South Africa, and she's considered to be an actress, television host, artist, but most of all, she wants to be considered as a business entrepreneur woman in the series. Now, hold on. Did you just say that she was born in 1984? No, 1985. Still, potato, <laughs> potato. Um, that's questionable. What do you mean? Her age. Anyways, in the TV series, she's dating a guy named Kudzai, who is a 28-year-old Zimbabwean musician who has apparently a net worth of $5 million. Ching, ching. So during the whole show, Kenny presents herself as a therapist. So she's going around giving therapy sessions to everybody in the street. Anybody who needs therapy sessions, she goes and helps them and everything. But during the end of the show, you kind of see another side to her where she becomes insecure about herself and get into bizarre arguments. Now, the way I see Kenny throughout this whole TV series is that she thinks she's an HBIC, but... Uh, you'll see guys she'll get challenged when a new character comes in now the next character is Annie Edibia now she was born in 1984 in Nigeria and she's considered to be a model presenter actress wife of two baba or two face innocent guilty okay <laughs> oh bum 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 <laughs> no, stop and okay I'll let you Uma talk about her before I get in so there's one part in episode one which she says if you don't know me, you're going to know me. And sweetheart, I definitely figured you out. You need therapy, period. Don't get me wrong. There was wonderful moments about her that I love. Her friendship with another character named Swanky. Um, her, her talking about her daughters, the love of her, her husband, and her friends. She's a wonderful woman, but you can see this woman, she went through a lot, especially with her marriage with Two-Face because allegedly he stepped out of the marriage several times, resulting in five children outside their marriage and two baby mamas. So spoiler alert, she says in the series that her first child is his fifth kid. Now, how I feel about Annie Makalai Idibia is that I feel like she's been slept on because outside of her marriage, she's a whole lot of woman, right? She's considered to be the best supporting actress in the category for 2009 Best of Nollywood's Awards. Um, she's a mom. She does other things. And I think in South Africa, she's an entrepreneur. But I cannot forget how she was moving on the series and she was moving mad. It's almost as if she has two personality because when her husband's around, she's just, oh my God, this flower and all. And when her husband's gone, she's a girl gang. And the next character on the show is, I was gonna say his full name, but forget about it, Swanky. Swanky was born on July the 4th, 1991, and is a Nigerian celebrity stylist living in South Africa. Now, Swanky is everybody's dream friend. He is a ride and die. Even there's some questionable moments um, on episode four or five where clearly, you know, the person he's defending is wrong, but he's still ride and die till the end. See, <laughs> Swanky's a winner. And don't forget, you guys, he's Annie's friend. Nigerians stick together. Now the next character is Nadia Nakai. So at, th at this point, I don't, I don't want you to talk about this. Girl. No, we're gonna be fair. Now Nadia was born in 1990 in South Africa to Zimbabwean mother and a South African father. Now she is a Pan African artist, respect, but a specialization in rap. Now she was ushered in by Kenny because I think she is Kenny's friend. However, she tries to make her own stance as Miss Independent. Um, however, 
Kenny challenges her when she tries to hook her up with one other character called Diamond Platinum. And then she folds like a lawn chair. When she realizes who Diamond Platinum's ex was, goodbye. So I just want to mention a few things about Nadia. Now, in the beginning of the show, she stood out as a strong independent woman who had her own views about certain things but later on during the show she turned out to be the opposite like what okay spoiler alert at annie's bachelorette party natty got involved in a conflict that had nothing to do with her and if i can recall too there were several occasions in the series where Natty wanted to use hands. So I'm going to stay watching her case and see what happens. And I hope they're making seasons too. I think so. All right. And on to the second, second character. Wow. I can't believe I lost me. Nasibu Abdul Juma'a Isak. AKA. You're not going to ask me who that is? I don't care. Is <laughs> it Diamond Platinum? <laughs> yes. Diamond Platinum. Born in 1989 in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. It was a fabulous location. We've been there before. Yeah. He is a singer and a businessman and he's known a lot, um, especially as a lot of U.S. celebrities. I mean, there's photos of him taken with Snoop Dogg, made songs with Omarion. I personally really like this guy through the TV series. Lord, I've never met him personally. And he comes across as a guy who is like so not into conflict. Like he made, spoiler alert, like this cool theme party called Arabian Nights. We just wanted people to chill. Like I really like this guy. I can't find any conflict. You got something to say about him? Of course I have a lot of things to say about him. He has three baby mamas, four kids, and two more that are waiting for a paternity test. Anyways, I still think he's a cool character and the show needs him always on. And the next character is Naked. He was born on August 12, 1980 in South Africa. He's a DJ and a record producer. He was married twice and has one child. I really like Naked a lot. I think he's such a truth teller. Irregardless of whatever squad he's on, he's always gonna side with the truth. Um, however, I feel like he needs to get real with his relationship with Kaylee. He's hilarious about how he feels about her, but um, it's problematic. So there's one thing that I noticed within the show is, for example, Naked and Swanky, they got into a conflict, but resolving it was way much quicker compared to the ladies in this show that will take a decade to resolve it. Hmm, interesting observation. Okay, so Kaylee Schwack is another character on the show, born on December the 4th, 1994. She's a model, a football player, and a media face personnel. I personally think she's a cool cat. She's very unproblematic. Um, so many times they try to get her into squad gangs, but she seems to be, you know, staying nicely next to naked and, and loyal to that relationship. Um, overall, I think she should definitely stick around. I would have to disagree with you on that, Selma. If she's not going to put in more depth or more character to her, she needs to go. And on to my favorite character, Andile Nkube. I don't think I said his last thing wrong. Born on October the 4th, Mr. Suave, 1980, in South Africa. He's the man with many hats, but on the internet, he's a TV personality and a producer. Now, as far as we know, he only has two children with two baby mamas. And even if he had more, you will never know because he keeps his life on the DL, which is why it makes him so mysterious. Now, if I drop the act at the beginning of the TV series, like I told you, Uma, I was like, who's he? Mm -hmm. But almost at the end, I was running for my life. <laughs> it's true. And Dile, you know how to play your cards. So let me talk about my observation about this guy. And Dile is the type of guy that when he sees a strong, independent, beautiful woman, he sees it as a challenge that he needs to take on. And you will see that when another character is introduced within the show. Now on to the last character, thank God I left her for last, um, is Zari Hassan, AKA the boss lady. She was born on September the 23rd, 1980 in Uganda, but resides in South Africa. Now she's a socialite and a businesswoman and she has five children under her belt. She is the ex of Diamond Platinum in which they share two children. I'm just going to say it, Selma. She was the star of the show, period, done. I don't, you know what? I'm not even gonna argue with this. And you shouldn't argue, see, I honestly was sold on her narrative at the beginning, how she was a, a boss and she was running the show. But as the TV series was progressing, your weakness is exposed. What do you mean? 
See, I think Zari gets jealous whenever she sees a chick in some form of a union like a marriage. Let me explain. When Annie was so happy to introduce Tubaba to the group and let them know I'm getting married again. By the way, this is spoiler alert. I swear every single clip Zari was trying her best to run her mouth on that union and talking about how it's so flawed. Friend, stay out of it. It ain't your business. Aren't you supposed to be the lady boss? Aren't this stuff that's not supposed to phase you? Then phase out. Now, Selma, let me point it out to you that it was Annie who was running around in the Arabian night party saying that, how does Zari know my man? How does she know my husband? Anyways, I don't want to give too much out, but you can clearly see that there is going to be a power struggle between Candy, 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 and Zari on who is the main HBIC. So this is the end of our video. Please leave a comment and a like and let us know which one is your favorite character from this television series. Thank you guys for listening and watching and bye now.